Now this video might be explaining the obvious, and I'm sure the internet has probably covered this lots of times, but I thought I'd explain it because there's a chance that not everybody knows this. So here goes. Toy Story, the iconic Pixar film from 1995, appears to be a reenactment of the film climate of the 1960s. In the 1950s and 60s, Americans romanticized the western hero. It was a form of escapism through which we could forget about the troubles of the Cold War and just go and idolize some cheesy stereotypical hero like in the films of John Wayne, for example. Then the space age occurred, and mankind became obsessed with the idea of landing on the moon. It was at this point that Americans romanticized the idea of space travel and space heroes. The western became fewer and fewer as science fiction films became more and more, hitting a peak with the release of Star Wars and the merchandising craze that resulted from it. Fast forward to Toy Story and we see the same thing happen. In the film, Woody, a cowboy doll, is the toy that all the other toys look up to. Then one day, Andy, their owner, brings in a new toy, Buzz Lightyear. Woody becomes jealous of Buzz as he becomes the new center of attention for Andy's toys. Andy also seems to give more attention to Buzz, eventually replacing all of his western paraphernalia with space age paraphernalia. This eventually leads to a breaking point where Woody causes Buzz to get knocked out of the house, which causes the toys to uprise and throw Woody out with him. This is an obvious reference to the filmmaking climate of the 1960s and how, like Woody, people like John Wayne were gradually replaced by people like Harrison Ford. The way that Woody treats Buzz and the way that the toys treat both of them is just the most obvious way in which the Toy Story narrative relates to the Western Age being replaced by the Space Age. Here are a few more subtle things that the film does, some of which might even be unintentional. We see the toys make fun of Woody's outdated technology and bask in the glory of Buzz's fancy new technology, just like how film audiences make fun of the outdated style of westerns and bask in the glory of the new science fiction of the era. They make fun of Woody's pull string catchphrases, cheesy ones like there's a snake in my boot, and find Buzz's fancy catchphrases much more impressive. His most famous catchphrase is, to infinity and beyond. This is most likely an intentional reference to the ending of 2001 A Space Odyssey with the segment Jupiter and Beyond the Infinite. It could be a coincidence that the ending of 2001 marks a paradigm shift in the way that Dave Bowen, and by extension humanity, perceive their reality. Similarly, Buzz Lightyear marks a paradigm shift in the way that the toys perceive their own reality, and similarly, a film like 2001 marked a paradigm shift in the way that viewers perceive their own reality, and by extension, what they wanted to see from new movies, namely space age films instead of westerns. Another more minor note is the two names, Woody and Buzz. Buzz could, in this sense, mean excitement. Buzz being a slang term for excited interest or attention. And Woody could, in this sense, mean wooden. Woody is old and stale, Buzz is new and exciting. Even their names are possibly indications of this continuing theme of the Western Age being replaced by the Space Age. Now this next one might be unintentional, but I noticed that there's a day and night theme going on with the decorations in Andy's room. This is interesting because it shows both the visual and stylistic distance between the two eras. Not only were westerns and science fictions day and night in the literal sense, but in the metaphorical sense. Westerns are about the past, sci-fis are about the future. Westerns are about Earth, sci-fis are about space. Westerns are about things we already know, and sci-fis are about the unknown or even the unknowable. And it's this simultaneous fear and excitement represented through Andy's toys that filmgoers in the 60s might have felt. One last observation I'd like to point out is how Andy treats the toys. He doesn't care. He thinks Buzz is amazing and Woody is old news. Andy could be a commentary on the filmgoers themselves and how, even at the cost of careers for people like Western film stars, they don't care. The trend moves onwards and people like Woody or John Wayne are left in the dust. It shows the almost absolute ignorance of the culture of the people that pay for the films and how society dictates the relevance of people in such a way as to almost unfairly ruin the lives of once famous actors. Now, I'm not making this video as an endorsement of Western films, nor am I telling you that you should prefer one genre over the other. I'm just pointing out what I think Pixar is trying to say in the film. And to some, I'm explaining the obvious, so I hope that this video at least brought up some good points, even though I admit to it being a bit of a stretch at times. That said, I thought I'd explain a little bit behind the motivation of Toy Story, at least why I think the members of Pixar made the film a subtle commentary on the film climate of the 1960s. First of all, the members of Pixar, for the most part, grew up in the 60s. John Lasseter, for example, the director of Toy Story, was born in 1957, meaning he was 11 years old when 2001 A Space Odyssey came out. He had enough time to get acquainted with westerns and see the transition as a kid. It would then be a good idea, when making a film about a kid and for kids, to relate it to his childhood, or their childhood, since Pixar is a big team. He takes what he saw of the film industry as a child and projects it on into the 1990s as a way of showing other kids the same environment he grew up with, but with an adult understanding. Kids don't get the 1960s context of Toy Story because they're kids. 
I admit, having been born a year before the film came out, that it definitely didn't register in my mind that the film was about the film trends of the 1960s. We're just as oblivious as Andy, and so were the creators of the film when the 1960s were actually going on. And so it helps to relate to their childhood, to our childhood, in such a way as to capture both the childlike innocence of both time periods, as well as the things going on in the background that we don't notice, such as the way that science fiction ruined a lot of careers for people who couldn't make the transition. And furthermore, it could even be a meta-commentary, Toy Story being the 2001 of children's films and of films in the 90s. Is Toy Story claiming itself to be the next 2001? Well, not really. And if so, only in the sense of special effects. Toy Story definitely was a tide changer and it revolutionized the children's film genre and impacted all of filmmaking with its usage of computer animation. Toy Story is itself the Buzz Lightyear to Disney's Woody, being a replacement for the then-stale 2D animation genre, as well as being a replacement for the not-so-great special effects going on at the time. Perhaps Pixar had the foresight to know that Toy Story was going to be a game-changer, but perhaps they had no idea and were just making a personal film and making it universal by updating the theme of Western vs. Space Age for a modern audience. Either way, the film works on so many levels that it's hard to find anybody who dislikes the film, and for those who think it's just for kids, think again because I at least hope that I demonstrated that Toy Story had an idea of what it was trying to say beyond the typical children's film formulas. And speaking of 1960s, I could get into the possibility of there being a Vietnam reference with the toy soldiers, and it is true that Arlie Ermey is one of the soldiers, having been previously known for his work as a gunnery sergeant in the film Full Metal Jacket about Vietnam. But I'm willing to call that one a coincidence, and even if they did intend it, it doesn't really matter that much to the overarching theme of the film, which is Woody's jealousy of Buzz, so I'm not going to get into that. Please comment letting me know what you think. All feedback is appreciated.